If you saw the video title and are not just going by the thumbnail, then you know this video is all about why I quit beveling my soaps. I used to bevel all of my soaps before packaging because it looks so good and all the other popular soapers were doing it and it has such a satisfying look to it. But a year or two back, I just stopped and I haven't looked back. Basically, because it's not necessary. Beveling is more for aesthetic purposes and does not in any way affect the function of your soap. It does give a smooth, polished finish to your bars, but the same look can be achieved with this little tip. Usually after I cut my bars, I will simply wipe my gloved finger along the edges to smooth the sharp edge. Boom, done. I may dip my finger in some 91% rubbing alcohol to help this process, but that's about it. This leads to my second point. It takes too much time. My time is precious, so I try to salvage every second that I can. I am definitely the type of person who will make a process simple and then make it simpler if I can. It takes time to bevel the bars. Cutting off those tiny bits of soap for me is just another unnecessary step. Leading to my final point, where do you keep all of those itty bitty scraps? I know the cool thing to do is save all those bits and make a confetti soap or something, but do you know how long it takes to generate enough of those scraps to make a soap like that? If you aren't pouring soap every single week, it takes a long time. And I don't want to wait that long, honestly. That soap the customer could be using and I really don't want or need to save those pieces. I already saved my end cuts that don't make it to being samples, but the amount of soap that I bevel off tends to be so minuscule anyway. The size of your scraps depends on how much of your soap you're actually shaving off and I would rather the customer have that soap. Now there are a few occasions where I will take the extra effort to bevel my soaps, such as a special soap project, perhaps if the edges feel a bit too sharp, or if I really feel like it. But in a nutshell, I quit beveling my soaps because it's unnecessary, it's time consuming, and makes a mess, and I'm totally okay with that. Now if you want to bevel your soaps, I will offer this suggestion. I actually prefer my soaps to cure a few days to a few weeks before I bevel for two reasons. One, this cuts down on the likelihood of my handling of the bars, leaving behind fingerprints, which then requires planing. Two, I also find it a bit easier to hold the bars securely and my knife or peeler tends to slide more easily and steadily down the edges. So where do you stand on the debate to bevel or not to bevel? Let me know in the comments below. Unbeveled soaps have their own rustic charm loved by most handmade soap connoisseurs. But the polished look of beveled and plain soaps displays its own elegance. Thanks for watching. If you haven't heard, I have a second channel where I post my podcast and other videos with tips and strategies to start your own soap and cosmetics business. Link in the description below, along with some of my favorite soap making and market supplies. Be sure to like and subscribe before you go and stay sensational.